Yep, it's gonna be a great year for mice. Oh yeah. This video was brought to you by Squarespace. So welcome back guys, it's your boy BT. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the top five gaming mice for quarter one. Now things have been a little bit quieter this quarter one, only about two to three mice drops in this short time frame but it was enough to change the landscape of my top five gaming mice. Now I do plan to do these every quarter. So this is quarter one, I'm gonna do quarter two, three, and four, and we're gonna have the mouse awards again. So make sure you are subscribed. And what I've been looking for recently is a mouse that is durable, has great clicks, has a nice cord, or is wireless, better yet, and has a sensor that can keep up with today's gaming. So let's take a look at what made my top five gaming mice for quarter one. And let me tell you guys, this was not an easy list to make because there's just so many great mice out. Starting off with the number five mouse, the Ponage Ultra Custom Mouse. Now this is a mouse that took me by surprise. That yeah, and that review wasn't an ad. I tried to break this thing. I tried to use it over two weeks. I tried to find fault in it and it was just that good. And I still come back to it time and time and again. And I'm like, wow. Nothing's wrong with this mouse. It has put a fight up against these other mice like EC2B, the G Wolf Skull, the Model D from Glorious. There were so many great Ergo mice that came out and this thing just topped them all. And one big factor for that is that wireless capability. And the clicks feel amazing as well. Definitely can compete with all the other top Ergo mice out right now. And this mouse, in my opinion, does what they do but it does it just a little bit better. Now I did say this is the future of gaming mice. And what I meant by that is the concept. The concept of this mouse makes it the future of gaming because other companies might see this and actually take that customization that you can do with the shell and make a new mouse. We're talking about hot swappable customization at our fingertips. To me, that is where Gaming Mice is going to next, is customization. It's a medium-sized mouse that has a 3335 sensor that performs perfectly. I honestly can't tell the difference between this and the 3360. The battery life is also great. It lasts from 40 to 66 hours, and it connects via a USB dongle. The mouse one and two are great. The scroll wheel is great. The side buttons could use some work, but still great. So if you're in the market for a lightweight Ergo mouse, this is the joint that you need to look at. So coming in at number four, we have the Glorious Model O and O minus. Now, what more can you say about Glorious there? Glorious, it has the best RGB of any mouse on the list. If you're going for more of an aesthetic look, they also have a glossy and a matte version. That glossy one just looks so sexy with the light bouncing off of it. The new Ascended V2 cable also feels great. It's a very comfortable shape. It's low to the ground. So fingertip grip users are gonna love the O minus and palm grip users can take advantage of that bigger size of the Model O and use like a palm grip, relaxed palm and any of those variations. They did improve on their clicks over time, but I can't help but feel like I want Glorious to go wireless this year. I wanna see it. I don't know if they wanna like re-release their mice just in wireless form, but I feel like we need a Glorious wireless mouse by the end of the year. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Coming in at number three, we have the Endgame XM1. Now this mouse took everybody by surprise when they re-released it. They got rid of a lot of those old issues that they had with the original one, including the cord. They made the feet a little bit thicker as well. The mouse one and two feel a little bit better this time around and all that combined with it being the best claw grip shape that you can buy right now because that diamond shape in the back aka that it fits so nicely to the natural lines of your hand making this one of the best gaming mice out right now period it's on the larger side, so it's a medium to large handed mouse. I know a lot of you guys out there with smaller hands have been asking me, yes, you can use it, but you might have some issues reaching up to that scroll wheel. Now, before we get on to the last two items on the list, I wanna tell you guys a little bit about today's sponsor, Squarespace. Now, have you ever wanted to make a website but didn't know where to start? Well, today's sponsor can help. Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business using its fantastic marketing tools and SEO tools to make sure that people can actually find your website. Me personally, I use Squarespace to build my own Mito laser theme website. It will be launching soon. Don't worry guys, I got you. And I have to say, Squarespace is simple to use using their pre-made templates that provide a great starting place. So head on over to squarespace.com slash Brandon Taylor for a free trial to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain today oh yeah so coming in at number two on the list we have the g pro wireless now this is one of the most used mice in gaming esports not just because of sponsorships okay usually players can use whatever they want 
but instead I feel like this is one of the safest shapes on the list. You can palm it, you can claw it, you can fingertip grip it using its ambidextrous shape. It also has a hump that's more towards the middle which allows you to palm grip this mouse way easier. It's a medium sized mouse so it's right smack dab in the middle of large and small and medium hands. It has amazing wireless at 48 to 60 hours. The side buttons are nice and light. The mouse one and two, some people love them, some people hate them. I'm in the camp where I think they're good enough. So with Logitech, I feel like I wanna see them actually push the boundaries and really go at the market, you know, not just settle for what they've been doing. I wanna see some PTF e-feed. I wanna see a 70 gram G Pro wireless. These are all things that I'm very hopeful for, but I doubt that we will see it. And that's the sad part, right? So last but not least, we have the number one mouse on the list, the Viper family. So I kind of cheated here and put all three of them on here. That includes the Viper, the Viper Ultimate, and the new Viper Mini. Seriously, Razer made something for everybody. Now you can use the Viper if you want a bigger mouse. So let's say you're like a palm grip user or you like bigger mice, you can go with that one. Or if you wanna go wireless and you have some extra money in the bank, you can go with the Viper Ultimate. Or if you want something a little bit on the smaller side, you can go with the Viper Mini. And especially at the $40 price tag that the Viper Mini is at, I feel like that one is worth a shot. It has a great ambidextrous shape, very comfortable. You can use any of these mice for hours. That Focus Plus sensor is one of the best, if not the best sensor on the market. I know the Viper Mini has the 3359 and some people don't like the lift off distance. I haven't personally had a problem with it, but it can bug you because it's a little bit higher. But I do feel like once they release the Viper Mini Ultimate, we're gonna see that Focus Plus again again in that mouse and that is just going to be a game changer they might even win the year just by releasing that mouse it seems like razor has a stronghold on the game right now and they are not budging they are not slowing down they're listening to the consumers and that's why i feel like they deserve to be number one on this list and their mice are just great all right guys it's been your boy bt don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and if you guys want to see a more detailed review of each one of these mice i'll be linking it down below this was just a general overview and ranking the mice as i see fit right now all right guys i'll see you in the next one peace